sometimes the distance between our current reality and our expectations can be so big. And when that happens, we need some encouragement. Hello, my friend, and Happy New Year. I can still say Happy New Year. It's not too late, right? I took a small break and now I'm back and it's good to be back. And I missed you guys. I missed doing this. How have you been? I pray your year began well and that you're keeping well. I mean, it's already February. Can you believe it? I just wanted to come here and cheer you on and encourage you. Um, and I especially want to speak to the person who feels like their life has not turned out the way they had hoped, you know. Your current life is not living up to your expectations. You feel like you should be further by now. You should have done more by now. Uh, maybe you've messed up your life. Uh, maybe you failed your exams. You have gotten pregnant unexpectedly. You have failed in that relationship. You had your 2021 New Year resolutions nicely done and you have already fallen off the wagon. Or maybe for you, 2021 is just turning out to be an extension of 2020. Nothing much has changed. And you're just sitting there wondering what is going on. I want to tell you that it's never too late for a fresh start. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So you can begin again today. You know, God is a God of renewal. He's a God of second chances and, and third and fourth and fifth and so on. He loves to give us new beginnings. In fact, you only need to look outside at the vegetation and you see this continual renewal. One day the leaves of a tree have dried and the next they're green. God loves to give us new beginnings. Think through the way you have done things in the past and how can you do them differently going forward. But sometimes things happen that are out of your control. You're thinking, I should have that degree by now. But maybe you didn't have money. You should have a good job. Thinking you should be married by now. Or you should have children by now. Or you should have built that house by now. And so all these things, you're thinking the circumstances of your life and you are so discouraged. Here is what I've learned. You might not have control of the circumstances that you find yourself in, but you always have control of your attitude. You know, you can choose an attitude of joy. You can choose peace. You can choose gratitude. You can choose forgiveness. In both cases that I've spoken about, whether you are in control or you are not in control of what is happening or what has happened to you, God never leaves you without the next step. You know, you might not see the whole staircase. Um, it might be dark, but your next step is always lit. There's always light on the next step and you can take that next step. Focus on what you can do today to move forward. You know, where, where, where are you going? Know where you're going, know your destination and then work backwards. What are the daily things that I can do today. You know, break it down to things that you can do today to just move a little closer to where you're supposed to go. For example, if it's, if it's a degree that I want and I don't have money to get that degree, there's something I can do. I can do research on the different universities. I can do research on the degree that I want. Uh, I can talk to somebody in that field. I can talk to people who can give me scholarships. There's always something that you can do today, however small that step. So as long as you have breath in your lungs, there is hope you can always start over today. There's a quote that says, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. And that's it from me today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be blessed and stick around. There's a lot of good stuff coming your way. I'll see you in the next video.